But before we get started with this video, I do want to tell you guys about today's sponsor, Design, or my merch brand company. I wanted to let you guys know that the second batch of 1200 shirts is now available for you to order. We have 1200 shirts, numbers 1200, 1201, 1204, 1205, 1206, 1207, 1208, 1209, 1212, 1213, 1218, 1219, 1234, 35, 36, 37, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 54, 55, 62, 63, 66, and 67. All these shirts are available for you to order today. These will be available until February 30th, so get them while you can. Once February 30th hits, these numbers will no longer be available. They will be replaced with the next set of cars that will be being scrapped slash retired. Alongside our new 1200 shirts, I just want to remind you guys that we also have other shirts and other goodies on my merch site. We, ha we have side print t-shirts of the of the 12s, the 7, Type 7s, the, the 600s. We also have die-cast stickers, which, also allow, which are like a cutout sticker that you can buy and just slap anywhere you want so we have much more than just the 1200 shirts so why don't you do yourself a favor and go ahead down to my merch brand site and get yourself some nice snazzy merch to make your house or yourself look better while you're out foaming or just chilling around the house anyway thank you all so much for listening to this message let's get started with the video hey what's going on guys it's nick here back again with another video now today's video is the release of the MBTA 1200 series for OpenBVE. I feel like they're in a I feel like they're in just the right state that they're ready for a version 1.0 release and I'm very excited to announce that. So, this video will be a place where you can download them as well as a tutorial video as well. I will bring you through the steps on where to download it and how to install it into OpenBVE and make sure everything works. And Another thing that's also included in this release is a very early beta version of the Orange Line map that I've also been working on. It is still very bare bones and does not look that visually interesting. However, it does have some visual aesthetics to it. Um, now, with that being said, um, the the install the the installation instructions does also apply to the route as well. The same way you install the trains is also the same way you install the route. So now. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so to start off here, I first want to give a little bit, uh, I want to give some information about the requirements for the map specifically, since you do need to have a, you do need to have certain computer specs to be able to run the map at its full capacity, or the way it, the way I have it set up at least. Because the way I have the map set up is that I have several um, track following objects or AI trains running on the map as well as when you're driving so what that means is that when you first spawn into the map and you're at forest hills um the next at the, at the next station green street there is a train waiting there on um with passengers loading on and then it will close its doors and then leave as you're pulling into green street so there are several there are several track falling objects that that I use within the map and to run the map with the track falling objects you need to have a desktop computer that has at least an RTX 30 series or later I have had several people test this and the only people that have been able to run the map with all the AI trains is someone else with a 30 series card I built this map and all the AI trains and the way how it functions on my desktop PC, which does have a 3080 Ti. So I have a pretty beefy graphics card. So full disclosure, those of you with lower end hardware, maybe like 20 series, 10 series, any type of graphics card that is not a 30, an Nvidia 30 series, you cannot run the map with AI trains. I have several different versions of the map in there. One with no AI trains, that is the one you're gonna wanna run if you do not have a 30 series card. I just wanted to I just wanted to put that disclaimer in there. So now without that now with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. So here's where you want to start off is at the download here. Now you can get to this Dropbox folder by clicking the link in the description below. That will bring you to this page that you see in front of you right here. You have everything here is what you want to download. You have the MBTA Orange Line root early beta MBTA controls.controls. That is the control um 
That's a set of mapped controls that I use, and I figured I would just share with you guys since I like the way I have it configured, and I figured I would just share it. As well as you have the MBTA 1200's version 1.0. So the MBTA 1200's version 1.0 is the train file. The MBTA Orange Line root early beta is the root file. Now, you're going to want to just click download and just hit close, and then it should be downloading. Now the actual folder, the actual folder size that you are downloading is going to be 8.1 gigabytes. Now what is taking up the most amount of storage here, the most amount of space here is the orange line root. Given that I have like at least 10 AI trains running, at least 10 AI 12s running in the simulation. So I had to copy a lot of files because I had all, I have all the consists um, with different numbers and everything, but that's whatever. So the download will be, will be a pretty big size. So give it a little while, but I already have mine downloaded. So let's go ahead and get started with the install process. All right, so now we're on my desktop, and once you have all the files download, you can leave them in the downloads folder, or you can move them to your desktop, whichever you choose. I just have them loaded on my desktop here for simplicity. So now we have everything downloaded. We have the 1200 controls file, the MBTA Orange Line root early beta, and the MBTA 1200s version 1.0 file right here. Now, what you're going to want to do is just open up OpenBVE. And once you have that open, you're going to want to go to Package Management. And we're first going to install the root here. So we're going to go to Install Package, and then we'll do Select Package. And then it, you, will, you will see a prompt as to where to select the file. Now, if you have it on your desktop, you can just search in your desktop. If you have it in your downloads, look in your downloads folder. But I have it on my desktop. So let's install the trains first. So let's choose this one, MBTA 1200 version 1.0, click open, and then, uh, let's see, now it, it, it already has all the information here, just click next, and then it will be installing them right now, which shouldn't take too long, so then we'll install the root after this is finished. Alright, so now the installation complete, and it said installation successful. Now just hit OK, and then we're going to now we're going to want to install the, another package so just go to install package do select package and then this time we'll choose the root since we installed the train last time so just click open and then it will then it will just detect what it is and give you all the information here give it a minute here it is quite a large file so it has to look through all of it All right, there we go. It detected it. Now you can see all the if the all the info if all of the information is right here, then click next and now it will be installing that. As you can see, this will take a very long time and depending on if you're installing this on a hard drive or an SSD, it will that will determine how long you have to wait for this to install. But give it at least um, 5 to 6 minutes for this to install given it's a very large file. And yeah, so be patient. All right, so now that finished installing, so now we're just gonna go back and hit OK. Now, for those of you who want to use the controls that I gave you in my download link, then you're gonna wanna go to Customize Controls and then choose Import, and then wherever it is located in Downloads or Desktop, choose whatever dot controls and then hit Open. And then it will import all of the keybinds that I have set and what I what I use for OpenBV. So now with that, everything should be installed. So now let's go over to start new game. Um, I have a whole bunch of roots here, but you're gonna wanna go to MBTA orange line. And in this case, if you have a powerful enough computer, you're going to want to go to MBTA orange line northbound beta, and you will see the root image here. That, that is a photo taken by me. And we have it automatically selects the MBTA 1200 3D, which, as you can see right here, this is 1209 in the shops. Pretty cool. I think this is from like 1997 or something. Anyway, so now this should work. If you if you see objects not defined, then something went wrong. But if you but if you have the route selected here and the train selected and everything looks normal, then you're all good to go. Now you're just gonna want to hit start and wait for this to load up. Oh, fuck. <sighs> Clearly, I did not fix everything. With that being said, the actual AI trains version put on hold. Still not, still not fixed yet because 
The thing with the AI Trans version is it's very finicky. If I touch it in the slightest way, it could break in an instant. Anyway, let's load up with the MBTA 1200, um, MBTA Orange Line Northbound Beta 1, no AI Trans. For those of you, everyone just use this one for now, no AI Trans. Forget about all of the other ones, they don't work. Anyway, we'll have the train selected and now we'll hit start. And now we should see it's loading up, loading train. You like the root image file that I chose? It's pretty cool, right? Anyway, it will it will seem like it's stuck at 50% here, but it's just doing the final loading. So anyway, we have loaded up here and we should be good to go. So right now, the camera that the camera that is um, chosen by default is the exterior camera, and to quickly change it, you have F1, which is the actual interior cab camera. F3 as the exterior camera that is like free floating and F2 is the exterior camera that moves with the train as well. I use it as like an interior camera because it looks really good. But yeah, if you see this, if you see the environment and all and all the cars load in, then congratulations, you've installed it. Let's close the doors here. And here we go. Also, something cool that you, that I should tell you about. If you press control V you'll get a speedometer on the bottom, but it will say kilometers per hour. Just press control V again and it will change to miles per hour. If you also press control D, it will give you a distance from where you are to the next station. And if you press control D again, it will give you it in miles. As well as what you're also gonna wanna do is press control N since that gives you um, the grade or like the slope that you're going down. It will give you either, it will give you a percentage of what the slope is so you can accurately um, counteract the brake or the throttle anyway that is it we should just head on over to green street because why not next stop green street doors will open on the left and off we go now i just pressed control which is the constant speed button which will if you if you press this button and the and the train has is selected any any power level it will hold it at a constant speed so you see down here the constant speed is glowing or lit up. I am now at a constant speed of 11.51. Oh shit! I've, I'm at a constant speed of 11.51 miles per hour. And yeah. So and then to to release it, you just press Control again, and then you will resume at your full speed. Anyway, we'll continue full speed. I also included um, text markers to let you know what to do. So I, it just said you may now proceed to Green Street at 40 miles per hour. So anyway, let's take this, let's take this into first person, and enjoy the journey. So as you can see by the stats here, the stop um, point miles is, is getting shorter and shorter because we're getting closer to Green Street. Our, our speed should be a constant 40 miles per hour, and right now, as you can see, the, gra the grade is level. So, yeah. So, to get the, act to get the best stopping, to get the best uh, stop point, for the 12s here, you're going to want to stop when it gets to 1,200 miles per hour and put it in brake 2, or 1,200 miles, and then you will then you will slowly and gracefully pull into the station and not overrun or underrun. You may overrun or underrun depending on where you choose to to initiate the brake, but that but at exactly like 12 point 1,200 meters, that's the that's the sweet spot. As you can see, I sort of underran a little bit. I was a little early, but that's not that's not too big of a deal. Anyway, we pulled into Green Street. Let me open up the doors. Green Street doors on the left, and there you have it. We now have the MBTA Orange Line in Open BBE. You can use the link in the description to download this and enjoy for yourself. Anyway, that is it for me. I just wanted to make a video finally releasing the MBTA 12s and an early beta of the route that I've been working on. I've been working so hard recently on this to get it in a perfect state for version 1.0 release, and I am very proud of the progress that I've made thus far. If you have any suggestions or anything you want me to add or change, please let me know in the comments below, or if you want to, you can also join my Discord server and let me know by shooting me a DM or just adding me in the server. Link is also in the, descri is also in the description below to join my Discord server. Anyway, if you haven't already, also go check out my merch. We have a new line of 12 shirts that are ready for you to pick up today. Link is also in the description below. Anyway, that's it for me, guys. If you like what you saw, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. And I hope you all have a fun time 
playing this open BVE stuff since I've spent a long time on it. Anyway, that's it for me. Peace.